Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Vaughn, and today we're going to be checking out a game called Snot. This is a demo preview build for a game currently in Steam Greenlight as well as Kickstarter. Uh, they've been working on it for about six years in pre-production, and now they're trying to actually produce the final product. But uh, they obviously need financial support, which is why they're doing the Kickstarter. The thing about the uh, early build is that not everything's in it. <laughs> If you actually look on their Kickstarter page and watch their video, they they explain a bunch of stuff that I haven't seen in the demo yet, but I haven't beaten the demo, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just not far enough in it. So, you're Snot. We're a mollusk. We get shells. Shells are one of the weapons you get. If, uh, if I hold B here and select, I can release and just kind of arc that one. That's one type of shell. The other type of shell travels in a straight line, kind of like a drill. Um, there's a secret over here I'm going to grab. That'll give me an extra heart container in my heart meter. Uh, but yeah, the art style in this is really, really quite cool. Um, here's a save point. It resets everything. So let me show you this. If you, uh, <clears throat> if you screw up stuff, and that's kind of, I think I only have to have it three high to actually get past that. But let me show you. If I hit the flamingo again, it just restarts the entire level. There are puzzles in the level where it, you can screw up and have to go back. So that's useful. So to get through here, I have to whack the totem pole. And some of these jumps are actually really tough. Uh, there's a lot of platforming in this that's actually really hard. You see there, that's uh... Gotta hit it midair and then get over. And there's a heart container we can't actually get until we go through the beneath part. There's all these signs everywhere. Um, actually setting up my controller for the demo is kind of a pain because it uses Unity, but uh... It's not really the game's fault. <laughs> the only thing is, uh, one of the buttons is defaulted to pause the game using the right bumper, no matter how you uh, set it in Unity. So, but that's an important button, which allows me to power up my shells. Oh, got hit by the crab there. You have to attack those guys from behind. So here we go, get over here, and hit that one. And uh, there's a lot of, the level design's kind of strange. There's a lot of parts where you have to do jumps like that and interact with the world. But if you don't do it the first try, like this, oh, I usually fall there. And when you fall down, you have to go back and uh, redo a huge sections of the level. Which isn't too, too bad. It doesn't take that long, but it's kind of a pain. Um, I got a star there, which allowed me to level up. Not level up, but uh, temporarily charge up one of my abilities. So that one you have to fall down. There's a heart we can get. Uh, not exactly sure how to get that. I think you have to fall and move at the same time. And this will this forces us to take this huge uh, roundabout way to get back here. So let's just try and avoid these guys. Not really succeeding too well. Let's see. If I jump here, get over. Yep. It's really hard to avoid damage there. I could uh, shoot lasers at them using my powers, but I want to save it for a second here. Jump over there. Uh, no, over here. Uh, let's power up my shot. Ah, uh, that was the wrong one. Maybe it'll work. Let's see. Uh, B and throw. Nope. <laughs> uh, your shell will produce light if you charge that up. The charge up buttons are separate and I hit the wrong one. Let's just go back. Take some damage. Now I don't have my ability, so I have to take damage here. You don't, you don't have to, but yeah, see. You have to wait until it actually sinks up so you can actually get through it. Nope, not yet. Maybe. Nope, got hit. Wait, I don't really, in, I don't really like backtracking a whole lot in uh, games. I like to always continuously move forward, but that's not what this game is about. The actual uh, design, as they explain it, is uh, basically... You, it's Metroidvania-ish where, yeah, see, I died there. That's gonna reset everything. Uh, basically, how it's supposed to function is you, you beat worlds and then you can warp back to other worlds having gained new powers, kind of Mega Man, not really Mega Man style, but Metroid style. I can actually activate uh, the easy mode cloud. I'm going to do that just so I can get through the demo a little bit quicker. And what this will do is create new platforms so come on, there we go. So now when I miss jumps and stuff, uh, I won't have to redo it, which is, I'm not too bummed, ooh. 
Yeah, there we go. We kept it. Uh, I, I don't really mind doing it that much. I mean, I don't like it. It, uh... To me, that's always been kind of a thing that people do to pad out the length of their game, but I'm not gonna knock it for that. And then, uh, let's jump over here. And now that the easy mode block is there, I can just kind of hop over. And, uh, I like that. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a secret here. I think you have to fall... I don't even know, because when you fall in this game, you don't... You fall really fast, so there's not a whole lot of air control. So I have no idea how to get there. Maybe you need a power to get here normally. But here's a little secret. Got some uh, anemones with uh, sunglasses on. Everything's really cute. Everything's really cool looking. So I got light energy up so I can hold three stars now. Which is pretty nice. Hopefully I don't die in here. There we go. And uh, I think there's a health upgrade down here. No, I lied. Alright, so let's get back out of here. And let's try and actually get further in the level, which will actually require us to backtrack again. It's really strange. I don't, Like I said, not a fan of backtracking all the time. Um, it's okay having to gain powers in later levels and coming back to old levels. That's actually interesting. That allows you to like create areas that look really juicy, like, oh man, I want to get there, how do I get there? And then later in the game you go, oh, I get it. But this has, like, this has it in the world, in this world anyway. I can't really speak to the rest of them. I've only gotten to the second level, and uh, consequently to a boss that I couldn't defeat. Uh, let's see here. Let's get this, and I can't switch, I think, with my mouse? No, I can't switch shells. So, uh, in, the, in the promo video for this game, they showed using the mouse to... Uh, select particular shells to power them up using different elements. The game is supposed to have six worlds in total, um, focusing obviously on the exploration aspect of worlds, which is why, you know, you can, you end up going through different paths. It's not just left to right, it's, uh, the second world especially is more of like a figure eight kind of thing you're going around, but, um, focused on backtracking, as I said, there's a lot of secrets especially in the second world, and there's signs that kind of, like, point to them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have that in the final version. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird to have all the secrets just pointed out to you. I have found some secrets that, uh, okay, here, here's a pirate. And, yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the stars to power up my snot. And I can shoot lasers. And kill the pirate. It's not really necessary to kill the pirate. Uh, to get stars, they usually just fall from the sky in this world. In the next world, there's actually a sign that specifically says uh, they will no longer fall from the sky, which is weird, but, you know, whatever. So here we gotta kill this crab. Come here. Come here. Oop. And hit that crab and grab the heart. There's a key here. Earlier in the level, there's a treasure chest. We have to go all the way back to the level and get that chest. So, here we go. Let's head on back then. And I hit the flamingo so it reset everything, but luckily if I die, I should respawn right there. So uh, what I've done before is just get the treasure out of the treasure chest and just commit suicide, because uh, it's way faster. You don't really lose anything either, from what I can tell. No, nope, I want that star. Oh, damn it. Well, that's fine. We're still kind of heading sort of the right direction. Have you had fun watching this part over and over? <laughs> is the same platform section. Oh, boy. Okay. Like, I don't want to sound negative. It's just I personally don't like backtracking all that much. You can kick up. I should go over that. So you can kick up sideways. And, uh, that's about it. You can throw your shells, as I've shown you. You can shoot the lasers if you power up your snot. Uh, that will just replace your actual hit attack. Uh, there's no double jump in it yet. Once again, this is a game that focuses on powers, so there could very well be one later. So here's the treasure chest. We're going to power up our snot and shoot this thing. Grab the Easter egg. And uh, now, we're going to head on back to the through the rest of the level again. But uh, what they showed in the video was there's going to be huge combinations. Like, instead of just the stars, there's supposed to be uh, ice powers, fire powers, lightning powers, rock power, like, all sorts of different power-ups that you can collect. 
And then you can apply those to either your shell, which does different things, or your snot, which does other things. And then you can also combine, depending on the combinations you have between the two, it should change up your powers to be a little more diverse, which allows you to do different, different things. Like it showed uh, later on, I'm gonna hit my la laser zapper again. You can shoot up. Oh, come on, I hit you four times. It should only take four shots, okay. But it showed like using like a drill kind of power that you get later and then coming back to the first stage and drilling through some of the ground. I think that's what it was. Maybe it was just a demonstration. Once again, all this is very not done. So here's a pirate ship. Uh, you could talk to these guys. They have some silly dialogue. I'm going to skip that for now in lieu of the video. Uh, the demo is free, so you can check it out if you wish. I'll leave a link in the description below for that. So here's a crab. Come on, crabby. Come on, crabby. I tried jumping over him in there before, and I always landed on top of him. And I got hit anyway, but whatever. So here's some more platforming. There are parts... This is a really good demonstration where if I hit that block and destroy that crate, there's no way I can get up here. I have to hit a flamingo. Which is pretty irritating. And you can make this jump very easily, but... Eh, I have easy mode on, so why not? There's signs up here just telling you, hey, uh, the uh, shortest path is not the best path, that kind of thing. So here's another pirate. Jump over me. I'm just gonna skip you. And now we have the Easter egg. So obviously we give it to the Easter Island head. Oh, young gastropod. What business do you have with Mo? Mo is over 1,000 years old does not usually speak with most newborn of snails. Are you here to report that it is Easter already? Easter is here. Moo. They do describe this game as being kind of psychedelic, and hopefully the second level will show that. But, okay, here's a demonstration of one of the powers that are actually in the demo. Uh, if I use the shell power on my shell, like the star power on my shell, I get a little more light, because my shell's illuminated. And if you don't do that, this part's kind of a pain. I got into this section without having any star power before, and it's it wasn't impossible, it just took a while. So you don't actually have to use any of these easy blocks. Once again, I turn on that just for the sake of uh, getting through the video quicker. Because I do want to show the second world, because the second world is pretty neat. First one kind of rubbed me the wrong way with all the backtracking. The second one is a little more interesting. So here we go, we're in the forest. We'll hit that flamingo. There's colorful mushrooms everywhere. We uh, just came out of that guy's mouth. So that's weird. Uh, welcome to level two. You won't find any light energy flowing from the sky in this place. Yep, it's good to know. So here we go. Got to go into this tree. And we have to avoid the mushrooms because they hurt us a lot. So let's hop up here and get into the trees. Uh, here's an example of a secret. A lot of hidden areas in this place specifically. Um, the signs do give you directions on where to go. But we don't need them. I am going to use this easy block just to get to the uh, heart up here, because I want it. And up here, we're going to keep going. Let's see what we can find. And I believe... See, I don't understand, because I think if I didn't have those blocks there, I'd be actually be able to get up there. So that's weird. It's uh, interesting that your easy mode is actually gating areas of the level. So that's cool to me. I don't know. It's a punishment. <laughs> Maybe it'll actually block off secrets if you do that. Which is an interesting way of doing it. Like, I don't even know if I can get up there. Let's see. Because, see, I could get on that, but I can't now. <laughs> so, uh, easy mode's trolling me a little bit. But that's okay. I'll just head up this way. Um, I think... If I just hop up here... And then get past that dude and get hit... Uh, this is a jump that, without those blocks there, I could not make. I have been here through on the normal mode. I could not make that jump at all. It was impossible to me. So I don't know if that's another thing we have to go back, but I haven't actually found any powers. So I don't know. So let's head through here. Do -do -do. Apparently there's a mushroom power. I did not find any mushroom powers. So let's just play these blocks, and we'll get to the boss that I can't actually beat. And maybe we'll beat him. I don't know. I actually have stars now. Before, I didn't have any stars. When you die, you lose every... You don't... I don't know if... Oh, man. I hit the wrong button. Well, I wasted that. Here we go. Just fall through. Now the sign will say, Well, now you're lost. I warned you. So let's hit this flamingo. And uh, head down here. Wait, I was cut from the game? They cut me from the game? 
I was supposed to be the main villain's bodyguard. And now I've been reduced to a mere demo mid-boss. It makes me so mad. Alright, I couldn't beat this guy because I couldn't do damage to him. So let's see if I can actually hit him this time. Oh, I did damage. I don't know why I did damage. Like... Before, I was just, like, smacking him with my tail, and it wouldn't actually hit him. So I don't know what the trigger is to actually having to actually do damage to him. Because I'm hitting him, but it's not hitting him, you know what I mean. Alright, you gonna roll at me? And then he's gonna come back. He's gonna be, like... See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to beat him. <laughs> uh, I tried throwing my shells at him before, and it did nothing. And uh, I usually just get hit more. Nope. That didn't do it. Jump over you. Nope. We'll use a drill shell, which actually travels straight and missed completely. If you just tap B to throw a shell, it just drops at his feet and it shatters, which is really not useful. You'd think you would just have a regular toss forward, like a standardized toss. He said he was going for, uh, it was in the shell tossing mechanic was inspired by Yoshi's Island, which, uh, don't take inspiration from Yoshi's Island. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I don't know, a lot of people like that egg mechanic. Not me. Not really. Alright, so shell's not working for us. Our tail's not working for us. We're actually out of shell, so now we're just a... Uh... Oh, I'm actually walking to the right automatically, so that's weird. That's probably my controller, though, not the game. So, unless I'm attacking him, it's really easy for me to avoid getting hit. I just don't know how to actually do damage to this guy. It's actually, uh... Like, that doesn't do anything. The environment doesn't seem to do anything. Come on. So, yeah, if you want to give this a try, there'll be a link to the demo in the description below. I'll link you to the, uh... Probably the Kickstarter page, because I think that's where the demo is. Or maybe the Greenlight page has it, too. I don't know. I'll put both. I'll put both down there. And then you can see if you can beat this mid-boss guy, because he is annoying. Do I actually have to hit him in, like, the teeth? Maybe that's it. We'll try this again. So I'm gonna die. So let's try that one more time. And, uh, I have full health, but now I don't have any star power, which, uh... Yeah, I know. You're cut from the game. So sad. I do want to beat this man. So come here. So we have to just kick him in the teeth. Maybe that's it. When he's getting ready to do something, I have to hit him in the face. Oh, that didn't do it. It's really unclear. I can understand why you were cut from the game, because uh, you're annoying. Is that it? Like, I, I really, I don't know what the uh, telegraph is for that. And that was a dumb move. Yep. My controller maybe go left again. <laughs> Come on. Can't hit him when he's walking. Okay. No damage that time. Yep, just gonna keep getting hit. He's just gonna walk into me. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna beat this thing. I assume he only dies, like, he dies in three hits. That's what I'm assuming, so let's try this again. Yeah, you're cut from the game. I really don't care about your story anymore. Come on. See, I don't know what... I don't know what I'm looking for when I'm supposed to hit him. I don't understand what the telegraph is. Like, because then I get all like, oh, let's beat his butt, and then I just get hit because I'm trying to hit him and it doesn't stun him. Which is pretty annoying. Alright, roll. Jump over. Come back. Jump over. Come on. Wrong buttons. I paused the game. What the heck? See, this is going to annoy me, because this could be one of those situations where the developer actually, like, messages me saying something like, Oh no, it's totally obvious that he blinks whenever you're going to hit him, or something like that. And it'll just make me mad. <laughs> Ah, uh, egg turtle. Alright. Well, I'm doomed now. 
So, what do you hit? What do you hit on this thing? <laughs> oh, boy. All right, he's going to bounce back. Nope. All right. One more try. <laughs> you are cut from the game, and you look like an egg. Come here. Let's fight. Okay. So I assume it's when he's ready to do something. Maybe ready to do that specific attack? Because he only does it once, <laughs> from what I've seen. So maybe it's one of those bosses where you just avoid him forever, and then eventually you can hit him. Okay, I think I got it now. Like, maybe it needs to be a little more obvious of when you have to hit him. To be fair, the checkpoint's right next to him, but... Come on. Nope, he's just gonna walk, so uh, he's gonna hit me. Nope, just gonna walk, so he's gonna hit me. Like, I have to be close to hit him. So that's like the rudest thing. Like, oh, nope, oh, you're right next to me to hit me? Well, I'm just gonna walk into you and be invincible. Come on. Okay, good, you're dead. You're freaking dead. I've only collected three out of five health pickups and one out of three light power-ups, so that's good to know. <laughs> you should try defeating me on normal mode next time. Shut up. If you liked beating him, fun just not on Kickstarter. And advertising a backer. Oh, okay. So I guess that's the end. So the mid-demo boss was the final boss. Alright, well, that's not everybody. If you want to check it out, there'll be a link to the demo below. Uh, maybe you can find all the things that I couldn't find. It's kind of fun. It takes a while to set up. But uh, I think it's alright. If they actually do everything that they say they're going to do with the game, I think it'll be pretty good. So let's just hope they get funded. Hope they get greenlit. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.